best laid plans of mice and men oft go awry. It's not the, uh, it's not the quote. So this power supply is just not going to cut it. Um, it's a funny power supply. It, 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 it uses a split ground. So it takes a 50 volt spread and cuts it in half and creates a virtual ground that's um, not very, not a lot of current in it in this particular design. The, the uh, virtual ground is supplied by a little op amp and it's, it's current limited in the way that it's in the circuit. And um, anyway, th th this board was designed to have a current draw of around 30 milliamps, something like that. So they, they just didn't pay a lot of attention to high current. And in order for me to hack this circuit to make it high current, I might as well just completely throw away this board and start over and, 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 and build a new board with three terminal regulators and, and a real ground and everything. And uh, so I, I, I thought about doing that. So, 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 so check this. <laughs> Uh, so my next plan was, well, you know, I have, I have a whole bunch of these supplies. I pull them out of every piece of equipment that I run across and this one's a nice supply and it'll do the job and it's not too big and I could, I could, I could, I could get it in here, right? I could, I could, I could get it in <laughs> And I thought, okay, well, that's what I'll do. And then just by dumb luck, I was moving a box around and I said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I've got. I've got, I've got these things. So if you've ever uh, looked inside a piece of equipment, sometimes they'll, they'll not bother building their own power supply. They'll just buy one of these bricks. And you, 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 there's two pins and you put in AC and you get DC on the other side. And it, the whole power supply is just in this brick. This is a uh, five volt, one amp uh, brick uh, made by a nice company, Daytel. Um, so uh, I looked around and, and I had, I had this one, which was uh, plus or minus 15 volts. I have written on here at 150 milliamps. Well, that, that's plenty enough voltage or uh, current that I need. And plus or minus 15 is fine. And uh, a lot of these are actually on sockets too. This one, uh, this one's actually on a socket, which is really, really weird. I don't know why you need it on a socket, but it is. Um, and so I had a couple of these and that's what I've decided on. So, um, there, it's, it's a little bit smaller than that, that big switching power supply. So what I've done is, uh, kind of tucked it in the back here and put a cable tie around on it. So it's nice and nice and firm. I've got, uh, the AC is those two, uh, two wires there and I put a hole in the ground and and the sh chassis and it comes out here to the uh, to the AC connector so it's all wired up so I I'm all set to go I've got a new power supply I didn't have to do anything I just bolted it in and away it went so that's gonna work out great so uh, and because I don't need this board any longer I have lots more room inside the uh, inside the chassis so what I need to do is I need to take my circuit and stick it in there and <laughs> I guess it'll fit. I need to figure out how to mount it all in there. I'm uh, contemplating uh, laying out a PC board uh, to make it all nice and pretty someday, but uh, I'll leave it like this for now and uh, I think it'll be good. But uh, that solves my power supply problem. Now I've got uh, plus minus 15 volts and uh, officially certified accepted. Uh, is there a date on that? I don't see the date on it. Anyway, I'm sure it's a few decades old, but still in great shape. So that's what we'll go with and uh, uh, continue on my continue on my journey. So uh, now that I can uh, confidently say I can put it in this box now, I can concentrate on what do I do with these uh, with these uh, knobs in the front. You know, is this going to be you know collector current and base current or base current and collector voltage or, you know, figure out what to do. I need to put some switches on it too. So I might need to, uh, I took out the end connector that's on the front here for the, uh, 
So I might have a switch here that's like NPN, PNP, put that in this hole here. Uh, there's also a hole down here that uh, where the sensor used to go. I don't need that any longer, so I can put a switch over there. Uh, there's a, a zero button here. Uh, I could take that out and put a toggle switch there. So there's a little bit of room on the front panel to put a few things. And there's, there's, a, there's a spare room. There's probably places for four more switches if I, if, if I need them. Uh, that was really on camera, was it? You know, here, 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 and here. So I could put four switches there, a switch there, a switch there, and a, sw and a switch here. So I think it'll be fine. And then, uh, like I said, on the back, uh, I have, uh, let's see here. The camera uh, I have the cable tie here to hold that power supply in, but I've got these two BNCs in the back uh, that'll be uh, horizontal and vertical outputs. And it's, oh, it's a switch back here too. This was for the uh, turn the uh, power the uh, 50 50 megahertz reference on and off. Maybe I can do something with that switch. That might be fun. Anyway, uh, there's actually a couple places here. The holes in the back too. Don't have to do any drilling. So, anyway. That's the, uh, that's the state of the uh, turf racer today. Solved my power supply problem. <laughs>